It's your boy King Buzz back with those exclusives. Welcome to the channel where we make no excuses. Shout out all artists, engineers, and producers, and I'm back with another video. Y'all know what's going on. Today I'm here to tell y'all why you should release your album or your single early. What do I mean by early? You know how some people you make the last minute decision that you want to put a song out and you want to release the song in the next seven to 14 days stop doing that you need to give your song at least 21 days right three weeks at least three weeks why i'm gonna tell you why all right these streaming platforms they work on a three to four week basis right so if you give them three weeks before your release date they can work you in to the algorithm they can work you into playlists all right so perfect perfect example i just dropped a single cold hearted i set cold hearted i set it up a month prior to the release date right so when it dropped i ended up being on the release radar which you will miss the release radar if it's not within three weeks, you know what I mean? If you drop it too fast, you're not gonna get, I got release radar, I got weekly releases, and I got, um, let me, let me go look. I'm not, I'm, my mind's slipping a little bit. I got release, rate, release radar, discover weekly, your daily mix, and another playlist, right? These are four playlists that I, Recently kept missing out on because I would make the last minute decision and I would just put the song out within a week or two And when I did that I didn't realize that it was messing up my chances of being featured in certain Spotify curated playlists, you know, what I mean this really applies to Spotify as far as Apple goes I'm not sure if they have a similar system where they have like a release radar or discover weekly all that good stuff like that so but this video is just to let you know, man, like give your project at least, I would say a month, man, three weeks. They say three weeks, but I say a month, bro. Like give it a month. And by the time it come out, it's going to be on release radar, which means that everyone that follow you, they going to see, they going to see it when it drop. It's going to, as soon as they open up their Spotify, they going to see the song. Uh, if you don't follow me, follow me on Spotify. You feel me? I'm trying to get my numbers up. Uh, we going to run it up though, man. I got big plans. It's just. My plans are a little delayed right now, but we gonna we gonna get to it. Uh, but yeah, man. So y'all need to give your releases enough time. Another hack is you can pitch your your singles to Spotify, right? And every single can be pitched to Spotify. But if you drop an album, you can only pitch one song off the album, right? What does that mean? That means you should probably drop more singles. It gives you a better chance of being put on playlists. So y'all about to see me drop a ton of singles before I drop my album. But it's a, uh, I guess you could say it's an experiment. But um, it's really a single game anyway, though, because uh, projects aren't consumed the way they used to be, man. Like, projects aren't uh, as important. I don't want to say that, but I do want to say that. They aren't as important. Uh, people don't really sit down and digest albums like they used to. You know what I mean? Everybody's on the go. Everybody is, you know, they hear that one song they like, and they just listen to it over and over and over again. And um, that's really how things are now. Uh, so you don't necessarily need to put out an album. But like I told my brother, like, I put out albums for me and I'm starting to realize that because like, I love a good body of work and I like when I listen to my favorite artist album from beginning to end and it just all goes together, it's all cohesive and it, it makes sense and the storyline is there. Like I personally enjoy that. So that's what I create on my own time because it's something I enjoy. And just because I enjoy it doesn't necessarily mean that my, um, my fans or supporters enjoy it also you know what i mean y'all might come across my music and you know you might think it's cool but you just got that one song that you really like and you know like 
for instance, shout out to Exotics, you know what I mean? He probably gonna watch this video anyway. He watched all the vids, but Exotics, he likes shooters, man. Shooters is a song, King Buzz and Jada Icon is on America's Most Wanted. That's our joint album. And Exotics like shooters, bro. Like, he, he rock with all the music, but shooters, that's the song he like. And he even added it to his playlist. And, you know what I mean? That's the song he rock with, you know what I mean? So, it only take one song, bro, for you. You only need one song to change your life. So, just remember that. You don't necessarily have to put out albums. You can just drop singles, man. Drop singles and shoot music videos and just rinse, recycle, repeat. Keep doing that. You know, be consistent. Just practice being consistent. That's the most important part. You know what I mean? Like... I'm breaking out of it now, man. Like, cause I, I, I can go eight months, six months, 12 months without dropping anything because I'm just holding everything. Cause I'm working on it. I'm gonna stop doing that, bro. I'm gonna just drop single after single after single after single after single. And one of them shits is going to stick. You feel me? And we going to be out of here. You hear me? Uh, I'm gonna drop single after single music video after music video after music video. And, we gonna be out of here you feel me so yeah but this video was just to let you know man like give your releases enough time to process into the system so you could get on these playlists and uh you know what i mean like discover weekly and stuff like your music all right everything is algorithm based right <clears throat> so your music is grouped with music that's like it you know what i mean so if Spotify feel like you make music like J. Cole, then you will be in a Discover Weekly with J. Cole or whoever's dropping. Like, whoever's dropping that week that you sound like, no matter how big they are and how small you are, your music will be grouped with theirs, right? Based on the, the listener, right? So if I listen to J. Cole, right? When I go into Spotify, I open it up, I go to listen, I go to my Discover Weekly, it's gonna have, if, it, if there's new J. Cole, it's gonna, it's gonna have the new J. Cole, and it's gonna have other artists that they feel are similar to J. Cole. So you gotta understand that. You gotta give yourself the best possible chance. So you need to give your releases enough time to process into the system so you can get placed on these playlists and you can gain new fans, new followers, new subscribers, new supporters, all these good things, you know what I mean? Only that's like like I said, it only take one song. Somebody can hear one song and be like, "This is dope. Who is this?" And next thing you know, they going through your whole catalog, trying to figure out what they missed out on. You know what I mean? That's the best thing about having a lot of music already out too, right? So that's another thing. That's why it's yin and yang. You know what I mean? Because I got a lot of projects out. I got a lot of singles and stuff that's already out. So if you stumble across me in 2021, right? And you're like, damn, this song is dope. And then you go type in my name on Spotify, Apple Music. You're going to be like, damn, this nigga got a lot of music. You know what I mean? And you could literally spend all day on my Spotify just listening to all the music I put out. So that's a, you know, that's a benefit of me already having so much music out. But I'm really about to unload the clip. Just pray to God you don't get hit. <laughs> you know what I mean? But we're going to keep growing. We're going to keep going strong. Y'all know what's going on. It's your boy, King Buzz. And I'm out of here. Yeah. I'm a little under the weather. You probably can hear it. But the grind don't stop, man. I got a vlog dropping at 4 o'clock. Make sure y'all check that out. But I'm out of here. Yeah.